in this entire class of mechanics. There really are only four kinds of mechanics problems that can be asked. The purpose of this video is to first identify these four different kinds. Momentum and the conservation of momentum. Energy and the conservation of energy. Dynamics and kinematics. In most physics classes, these four concepts are taught individually and only at the end can they be compared and applied to the appropriate scenario. We're going to do it differently. We're going to start by identifying first the four different kinds of problems and then develop that step by step to a full picture of mechanics. Okay, so your learning objective is when you're looking at an event, can you identify what's happening with each of the above, the momentum, the energy, the dynamics, and the kinematics. Okay, so what are they? Momentum. Momentum is mass times velocity. It can be thought of as how hard it is to stop something. Momentum is always conserved in a system unless something from the outside pushes on it. However, momentum can be transferred from one object to the other in a collision. So here we have two carts on a track, a red cart that's moving and has momentum, and a blue stationary cart with no momentum at all. So momentum is conserved. The momentum in the beginning in the red cart is equal to the total momentum of the two carts together. And so another way to look at this is to say that the red cart has lost some momentum and given it to the blue cart. Or you could say the total system still has the same amount of momentum, but in the beginning it's all in the red cart and at the end it's the two carts together. And because the mass of the red and blue cart together is way bigger than the mass of the red cart alone, the velocity drops. Energy. Energy, like momentum, is conserved. So unless you add energy into a system, the total amount of energy will always be the same. However, inside of the system, energy can be transferred from one object to the other. And very importantly, unlike momentum, energy can change forms. This guy stores his work in the elastic potential energy of the funnelator and then lets it go and that elastic potential energy turns to kinetic energy of the moving water balloon. So the flow of energy goes from the man to the elastic cords and then from the elastic cords to the water balloon. The energy also changes form from the chemical potential energy in the man's arms that could be ATP or glucose through the potential energy of the stretched elastic of the funnelator to the kinetic energy of the moving water balloon. The energy changes form through work. The work of the man's arms changes from the chemical potential energy to the elastic potential energy. The work of the contracting elastic changes it from elastic potential energy to the kinetic energy of the moving water balloon. Dynamic simply means when you put a force on something, it's going to accelerate. So if I put a force on Neil in this direction, he accelerates in this direction. Even if he's moving already, if the force is in this direction, the acceleration is in the same direction. If the force is in the opposite direction, the acceleration is in the opposite direction. Let's see that again. His velocity is still to the right, but the acceleration is to the left, reducing his velocity. And if there's no force, that is, if the force is zero, the acceleration is zero and we continue at a constant velocity. Dynamic simply means when you put a force on something, it's going to accelerate, or we know F equals MA. Or the force on a body necessary to make it accelerate is equal to the mass, m, of the body times the acceleration, a, of that body. Kinematics is simply when we look at our position and our motion and explain it with math. So let's say that this is zero, zero meters right here. Therefore, Neil would start at two meters and he's moving along at a constant velocity of three meters per second. Every second, he moves three meters. 
So after one, two seconds, he should have moved six meters and is now at eight meters. Okay, so when you look at a problem, can you tell us what's happening with the momentum? Can you tell us what's happening with the energy? Can you recognize the dynamics? And if it's moving, can you tell me what the kinematics are? You don't have to do it all today. We have a whole quarter to learn this.